Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. I want to show you today how to go about using um, your Ultra Beat drum synth to load your own samples and make like a unique uh, Ultra Beat if you have made your samples already. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got a software instrument built right here. It's the classic electric piano. It is the default for Logic. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is make sure you can see your track inspector. Remember that's this I button up here. You need to be able to access that. I'm going to just scroll down to the instrument slot, which is where our E piano currently lives. As I hover over it, I'm not going to power it off or get into its settings. I'm actually going to change it by clicking on these arrows. Then I'm going to just scroll down till I get to my ultra beat drum synth and boom. There is Ultra Beat. Standard Ultra Beat sounds like this. So, kind of a normal sound for sure. Um, but we want to be able to load our own sounds and samples into that. So, I'm going to walk through kind of my method for how I do that. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is right click on kick one and I'm going to go down to in it and scroll over and change this to be a sample. When I do that, it kind of clears all the things that were over here already and prepares for me to drop a sample in. You'll notice it changed from phase oscillator to uh, sample mode now and all I need to do is open up my finder window where I have my different sounds uh, set up and I need to be able to hopefully yours are organized better than mine good night that's terrible um, I all I need to do is drag from here and drop into this sampler window right there and instantly I have created a new uh, sample that that is going to be my kick sample so there you go there's the sample uh, it plays it is touch sensitive for volume and it seems to be hitting a little loud right now so I'm gonna go in and scale back the volume on that and there we go peaking at roughly three each time so uh, you might want it even lower than that. Just depends on what you're doing. So now I want to move to my next normal key, my snare. And again, I'm going to go in and change it to a sample. Open up my finder and pull over my clap snare sound. So now, oh, that one's really loud. So it's going to have to come down a lot. There we go. Now, as I play on my drum pad, I'm starting to get the sound. So you're balancing out here uh, what you want to have happen. Um, I'm going to do a few more. Let's see. I need, definitely need a hi-hat. So I'm going to come in and swap that out for the sample. Notice it doesn't do anything right now. Go in, grab my hi-hat. Where is it? Here it is. Again, a little loud. So that's kind of cool. So here we go. And maybe I want to change and add two different kick drums. So we'll put a sample in here, drag over my other kick. So maybe I want both of those to be able to hit at the same time. So that's kind of cool. 
Um, the last thing I want to say is the very top one up here. This, you can actually make play lots of different uh, pitches. So if I change this one into the sampler and I go in and I grab, um, let's see, let's see what this chant is. Okay, so we're definitely going to go with uh, probably this one. You can only do this with one of them on uh, the Ultra Beat, but this is going to actually extend from this, uh, let's see, this is C3 key on up uh, on your keyboard, is going to turn into a pitch shifting uh, version of this. So I'm going to set my uh, keyboard back into note mode I, 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 so there we go there I, I am I, I, listening I, to that A I, sound I, 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 I. so I've got the ability to go in with that and and trigger that that sound so uh, once you've done that if you want to jump into full view you can clear out what's already there and begin making a little bit of a beat Then I'll play my sequencer. Play with the velocities on the track that you're on. Get snare line now. Ooh, but that's not my sample. I want my sample one. Here we go. So there you go. That is totally built now on my sample track. If you're ready to move it over into the project, you can take and drag this little window right here, slide it over, and boom, there you have your Ultra Beat. Don't forget to go in and power off your sequencer so that it only plays when you tell it to. But here we go. There we go. Totally built off samples that were outside of Logic natively. I hope that helps. Uh, who knows? Maybe you'll write the next great track using your own samples that you made. Have a great day. Post any questions or comments in the section below.